Hey guys, it's me, Bosco5 here, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to add Streamlabs to your stream, as in the event list, as well as the notification box, the alert box. It's a very simple process, and I'll show you guys in this video how to exactly set that up. So first, you do have to go to Streamlabs. Of course, you have to go there. This is where you can get everything and log in with either your Twitch or YouTube, doesn't matter. Then you pick the account you want it on. I have two channels, so of course I'm just gonna go with Bullish Gold 5 as it's the main channel of mine. And you just hit allow. It's a very simple process and it's just gonna give you everything you need. So when you get here, go to your alert box as there are different designs, but you're just gonna copy the URL. Go back to OBS, add a browser source, name this to whatever you want. For me, I'm gonna name it alert box. And then in the URL, you just hit Control V, you paste it there. That's all you need to do. You need to hit OK. To make life easier, I'm just going to turn off display capture. Now when you get here, you just need to adjust how you want the alert box. Well, I prefer to have it in the corner. You can have it right in the middle if you want. As soon as you find a spot where you like it, you hit lock. So you don't have to worry about it ever again in the future. And then you hit test subscribe. As you can tell, it works for me. The little SpongeBob popped up. Of course, you can change your GIF whenever you want. As long as this is popping up and it's working, they are all good. Now, if you're like me and you want to have a list of things that just happened on your stream, event list. It's a nice little thing and it honestly makes the stream a little better. Once again, copy the URL. Go back to OBS. Click add. Once again, browser source. I'm going to name this one. I'm going to name this one events. Control V. Don't worry about anything else. You can adjust it later and you move it right over here. For video purposes, I'm going to help you guys out. Now, I have an event list. You adjust it to your liking. I'm going to put it right around there. That's how I prefer it. You can put it honestly right here. You can put it honestly anywhere, but I prefer mine up in the corner. And boom, that's how it should work. Now, to test out if it's working properly, go back to your window browser. Click alert box. This is just so you can check it out. Minimize it, of course. Of course, minimize it. Then hit test subscriber. And it should be working. Test it again. All right. For any other OBS tips, I recommend going to the advanced settings and having your mic louder than your video capture device and desktop audio. And of course, sync, off sync your mic by a thousand to sync up your gameplay and your mic because your mic's going to speak a lot faster than your video capture device because Elgato always puts a little short delay. So to counteract it, you put a thousand off sync. That's all. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Hey. Ultra, ultra, how do we get so rare? Ultra, ultra.